believe in that word. I told a young lady in Australia who told me she was a procrastinator. I said, look, if I told you to meet me here tomorrow at 5 a.m. and I'm going to give you $3 million, where would you be? She said, I'm going to be right there at 459, ready to get that $3 million. And I said, so there is no such thing as procrastination. What it is, is it's not important to you. I've been contemplating a lot um, about sharing my story. And I'm at the point in my life where I'm not thinking about myself. You know, we as people, as human beings, we can sometimes tend to become selfish. And, um, and that's okay to be selfish to some degree, but you know, given my profession, given what I've been playing and what I've been doing the majority of my life, and this past year, the making this film, Shifting Gears, is definitely gonna be something that's not only gonna help myself, but it's gonna help others. It's gonna show people the other side of me my creative side of me. Um, it's going to show people the vulnerable side of me. And that's sometimes we aren't okay with being vulnerable. But this film is completely vulnerability and me just being open with you guys. Uh, yeah, I was just, uh, you know, blessed and fortunate to have the opportunity uh, to go out there and, um, you know, go out there and make a play. Um, um, again, it's a blessing, you know, it's a blessing to be playing for this organization. Um, just went out there and, you know, gave them all every chance I got. Life has been an open book, majority of my career since high school, coming out of high school, number one player in the nation, number one wide receiver in the nation. So much put, so much pressure put on a 17, 18 year old kid to live up to the world's expectations. And that's tough. And to, to have all that, man, and you know, it was a great time. You know, I was playing at Proviso West. We had a great team, great, great, great senior season. But, you know, fast forward and going to college, man, it was so much, so much on me, man. So much being labeled on me. Right now I'm coming back, I'm trying to, you know, get back 100%, but I'm out there, you know, making, doing the best I can as far as right now. It's tough to deal with that, to be completely honest. What's, you know, your biggest challenge, it seems like, since you've been here, is staying healthy. What did you hurt? Hey Kyle, we were, just, we were talking earlier about the injury. Just, just, just tell us what exactly happened and what the injury was and what the recovery time is. Um, what, what happened was, um... And I went off to college, University of Southern California. Went out to uh, USC, man, and just got hit with injuries. Never had got hurt before in high school. It was just out of nowhere. And I think for me, when that happened, it was like, I was asking God, like, why me? Like, why me? You know, I don't think people know, but I've had five surgeries in my career. And, and boy, it's been, it's been hell. You know, I've broken my left foot, my right foot, had surgery on my left knee, right knee, lacerated kidney, broken pinky, concussion was my most recent injury with the Saints. All that that I went through has put me in this position to shift gears in my life. You said what, sir? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting some work, man. Yeah, I see that. What are you hey. gonna be when you grow up? Well, I already became what I wanted to be when I grew up. What's that? NFL player. Yeah? Yeah. For who? I play with the Saints. Yeah. New Orleans, yes, sir. Oh, right now still? I'm a free agent right now. Ah, come on. Ride with the mob, hum do our law. Check in with me and do your job. Third is the name, Ben Bola did the chain. Turn on for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. <laughs> it's 
bigger than me, Renzo. <laughs> I'm motivating somebody. I'm motivating somebody. And it's for everybody that feel like they want to give up. You've come too far. We've come too far to give up now. All the work, this is the blues I'm playing. all the lonely days, all the days, blood, sweat, and tears yes, it's brought you to this moment where you want to quit. You should level up from that point and go harder and, and harder and harder every time, despite what you're going through. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Chasing Greatness Wide Receiver Academy has partnered up with Greg Holcomb, a good friend of mine, QB Next Level. So this is a, uh, a camp that we put on every Sunday. You know, it ori originally was on Saturdays in the summertime, but we went from Saturdays to Sunday given we're in the fall season right now. So Chasing Greatness Wide Receiver Academy, man, is my own camp that I put together. Chasing greatness, 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 and it's basically me giving back and sharing my gifts and tools that I learned while I was playing, you know, playing in college, playing in the field, all the techniques, all the skills that I've learned, and I'm just giving back to them and sharing and training these kids on Sundays, and it's been great, man. It's been fun, you know. I've got a lot of kids that I've seen. Uh, progress throughout the summer going on to the fall during their seasons right now. Greg brings his quarterbacks with us and we you know we do routes on there and then we do individual. I take the receivers about 30-40 minutes and we work on some techniques whatever the focus is that day. You need to work on your route effectiveness. Okay so with that being said it's just both of y'all today. So what we're gonna work on today getting off press, route effectiveness. So it'll be a lot more hands-on with you too. This next you know, part, you know, we're focusing on over the shoulder drills. And, and a lot of these drills, these kids haven't done before. You know, this drill is basically a drill where we're focusing on running through the catch and not running with your arms out. Because a lot of time guys run with their arms out and it slows down their process of catching up to the ball. Set, hit. <laughs> ah, come on. That's why we're here. Hold that line. Set, hit. Track it. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Remember, when you're running, you know what I'm saying? Eyes to the ball every time, all right? Set. Hit. Uh huh. All right. We got to get a completion now. Come on. Set. Hit. Track it. Track it. Track it. Ah. It's right there. We right there, we getting there. So this is a great drill for working on that. But a lot of these drills that I'm doing with these guys, they haven't done them before, so it's new to them. So I don't get frustrated. All I do is get out there and, and keep harping on the things they need to work on because eventually they're gonna get it. So here, man, is we running routes, you know? This is, this is what I do, you know? Football is something like, that, like I said before, is not what defines me, man. It's what I do, but it is in my DNA. It's a part of me. and. I love football, man. It's just, you know, when I'm out there on that field, I get peace and serenity. You know, that's the one place I can take out frustration on. That's the one place I can go out there and be an artist. You know, when I'm not behind the camera, I'm on the field. And so that's why I say Chasing Greatness Production is something that's helped me transition so well because I get that same peace and serenity behind the camera that I do on the field, and it's almost equal. So when I'm out there on that field, man, if I'm having a bad day, I know I can go, that's the one place I can go to go out there and let it all out and be who I am and be free. So we starting at the right of the cone. So we going here, right? 
Starting here, go here. This drill right here is a uh, stick in and out drill. Just focusing on uh -huh. releases. Uh -huh. You know, I tell these kids Good. all the time, you know, repetition nice. yeah, deepens like the impression. So the more we do it, but the I more like it becomes it. natural. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. like riding a bike. You know, you learn how to there ride a bike go. and then eventually you learn, it's just easy. It's they natural, it. it comes to you. They get it. Say, hit. <clears throat> These routes, man, I love running routes, man. I love football. This is what I do. You know, on Sundays when I'm te uh, teaching my guys, I like to run routes with them. Just to let them know, man, you know, I still got it. Score! 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 Trying to teach them. Every time they touch the ball, we gotta score. Score! And it on. keeps me in shape, it keeps me on my toes because you can't be out there teaching these guys technique and how to run routes if you can't run them yourself. So, you know, I get competitive out there on some days. So I get out there and start running routes with them. CG on three, loud and clear. One, two, three, CG. Come on. All right, man. So we out here at Plunkett Park on a Sunday. Just out here. Uh, you know, chasing greatness with the with the young fellas, man. So this is something that we started over the over the summer. Now we transition into the fall. You know, Sunday training, chasing greatness wide receiver academy, where you know guys can come out, hone their skills, sharpen their tools in their toolbox. What I mean by tools in their toolbox is simply when you have a toolbox, you got wrenches, you got. Uh, you got a screwdriver, you got a hammer, and all those are used for different things. So that's basically what we have on the football field. Certain uh, tools, is releases, techniques, stems, those type of things that we're working on out here um, just to make sure guys have the great technique while they're in season and not losing it. You know, it's easy to revert to bad habits during the season. So that's why we out here just trying to get better, man. And, you know, at the same time, share my greatness with these kids and at the same time, stay in shape. You know, I stay ready for the next opportunity, man, but that's what it's all about, man. You don't get no better than this playing under the lights. I feel like a Friday night. But it's what it is, man. Darling, darling. When I got released last year with the Saints, I had one of my former wide receiver coaches from Proviso West when I was a freshman reach out. And he said, uh, you know, Kyle would love if you would be able to come by our school to either speak to the boys and uh, give, give them some motivation, or if you can, possibly be a volunteer coach. We're at Main West High School. It is senior night, and me right now, i am been volunteering here, coaching, not, not volunteer coaching, wide receiver coach here. And uh, senior night for the kids, man. You know, seniors last night, I remember my senior night when I was coming out of high school. It's a, a very important night for the seniors, you know, a very emotional night, a night that you remember for the rest of your life. But yeah, man, I've been spending the majority of my time here uh, for the past few months, uh, just sharing my greatness, sharing my knowledge, sharing everything that I've learned with these kids and just being a, being a, uh, a vessel and a mentor, not only on the field, but it's just in life and became, I become somewhat of a, a brother for these kids out here. And, you know, it's been great, man. So we got a chance to go 8-1 tonight against Deerfield. Uh, we worked extremely hard all season long. Uh, we're doing some things that never been done here. Uh, I'm just blessed and fortunate enough to be here. Thankful that Coach Crabman brought me on board and on staff to, to be here, a part of this team. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just humbled, man, because of the way they accepted me. And, you know, I just to see the growth of these guys, man, it's been uh, amazing. Hey, I'm, hey, 
Hey, y'all know what I gotta do, man. We ain't gotta say nothing more. Just go out and make plays, have fun. Seniors, this show last night. Well, I know we got another game here, but still, this is your last senior night. You don't get no more. You only get one. Let's yep. go, let's go. Ball out on three. One, two, three, ball out. That's it, bro. What I tell you, man? Good stuff, boy. We just had a tough loss, you know, just this past Friday night. No, it's fine. Look, no, nah, look, the game's over with. What happened today is done. Remember that, Remember that feeling that you got right now. All you know, right? We, we just had a tough loss, and channel that you know, just this next past Friday night. On to the playoffs, but right? the boys fought hard, man. They fought the game, with everything man. they had. It was now a senior night. You gotta stand up and be a leader for this team. And you know, you know what I'm they're gonna go as you go. I've become so emotionally attached to this team, man, because I give, like, I, with everything that I do in life, I put my heart into it. I'm very passionate. You know, to see them go down, I feel like I went down there with them because we worked extremely hard all year and we had this, we're having the best season. A lot of times guys that's playing either play six to eight years or 12 years, or they have long careers or they have short careers, two to three years. An average span in the NFL is three years and that's being cut down to even two. So how do you transition? How do you go from playing and doing something you've been doing your whole life to not doing it anymore? I've been playing football since I was seven years old. Seven years old. And to have something taken away from you that you've been doing your whole life, something that you centered your whole, your, your attention around your whole life to be taken from you, how do you transition? How do you deal with that? For me, man, I've been blessed. I got a degree from Northwestern, one of the top uh, schools in the country. I've stayed around the field. I actually went into doing something that I've always been on. How crazy is that? I go from always being on camera to being behind it. And this transition has, it hasn't been smooth. It's, it's been days where I wanted to give up. You're going to have those days. But for me, I have those days, but I snap out of it. I'm optimistic. You know, the devil try to creep in and tell you, man, to doubt yourself. You're not going to be good. You're never going to play again. Your life's over. But that's what he wants you to think. That's not what I think. You know, my transition with this cameraman has been amazing. I've touched lives. I've done films to people that you know, literally broke down and cried to me and said, man, I thank you for what you've done. You know, I've worked with companies, I've done visuals for people that's helping their brand. And not only am I helping their brand, I'm helping mine as well. Don't limit yourself. I never limited myself. And I would never let somebody tell me I can't do something. The moment you let somebody tell you you can't do something, you lost. I've come a long way, man. I have a lot, a long ways to go as far as where I want to go with business in my film. But, you know, this is the next step. And it's, it's going to go way longer than I think football ever will. But as far as closure, I think, you know, I've... Do you think he's coming back? I don't know.